Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to cover three ways of typing equation in Microsoft Word. You can see all these three ways and select the one which suits you better. Uh, it also includes the way by which you can type equations in Word which is similar to LaTeX. If you want to learn see that, that will be the third way which is the best way if you have typed lot of equations. So if you want to learn all these ways, please watch this video till the end. Okay, let's start. The first way of inserting equation or typing equation in Microsoft Word is by using GUI. In this method, you just have to go to insert tab. This is a Microsoft Word. You just have to go to insert tab and then click on equations. It is very simple way, and this is the way that most of the people who just occasionally type equations uses this method. You just have to click equations, and you will get this equation in data box. And from this menu, actually, you, you can select all these things. Okay, these are the symbols, fractions, race, radical, integral, large operator. All these things you can see. But what happens is. For each and everything you have to just switch between mouse and keyboard which takes a lot of time especially if you have to type a lot of equations okay i'll just show you how to type now let us say i have to type equation of area of circle okay so area of circle for this what i'll do is i'll go area of circle is equal to pi for pi i need to again go to design and from there i will need to see the symbol of pi okay if i don't get here this is how i get it here pi into r square pi r square for r square i'll just go to script r and it's square this is how you generally type equations by using gui but actually it takes a lot of time because you have to switch between mouse and keyboard regularly and it is time consuming and boring too it is very easy and it is very user friendly if you are new to this equation edit, new to typing equation or if you are using it very less or occasionally then maybe you can use this way so this is this was the first way of typing equation in microsoft word second way new way that microsoft word has actually included it is actually like scribbling pad i'll just show you instead of just giving you a lot of description what i'll do is i'll go to insert and click on this equation tab and from this I will select ink equation so select ink equation this, sorry, this kind of uh, will come and what you have to do is you just have to scribble it and Microsoft Word will automatically try to detect what you have written and then convert it into equation suppose I want to write the same thing area of circle so what I will do is I will just I have a mouse with me and type A and then C I R C L E equal to pi r square I have a mouse and having a lot of control over mouse is not easy and it catches a lot of error like area of circle I have written circle here it is detecting something else there are ways to correct it to select and correct I can select something and correct it it is I can say it is r okay i can select this thing and i can say it is l it is a given option of l okay l l correct it afterwards this is r now i can select and correct it okay this is not comma this is r actually now it is not showing okay i'll just correct it afterwards e i r c l and this is r so the second way of writing uh, equation in Microsoft Word. This is actually good if you have a touch screen or stylus with you. Otherwise, with mouse, that kind of control is very difficult. Also, a painful job to label it with, with mouse. So, so this is the second way that you can try. Especially if you have a touch screen PC or a stylus with you, you can try this. The third way of uh, typing equation is by using my auto correct. Actually, I have seen a lot of people using LaTeX for uh, typing equation. But they say that LaTeX is more very easy to type equations in latex so the people use equation uh, latex for equation because if you have to write a complicated equation or a large number of equations you will not prefer to use the first way or the second way but Microsoft Word has inbuilt feature which is very much like latex most of the people don't know it saves a lot of time if you have a lot of equations so let's start with this now, this first shortcut is not necessarily for equation using method autocorrect pressing alt and equal to simultaneously will give you an equation editor okay i just pressed alt and equal to and this is how i get equation editor no need to go to insert tab and then click on equations there are two modes in which you can use this equation editor this mode is in line with to put equation in the middle of text suppose i want to hear equation here just press alt equal to this is an inline mode and i just write pi 
using a shortcut method. So this is the inline mode. The second one is a new line mode. So if I want to write an equation entirely on a line, what I can do is I can go on a new line and press Alt equal to. This is same as equation editor, but it gives equation editor at the center of the line. Sometimes, depending on your choice, depending on the context, you can use inline mode on a new line mode. Typing fraction also is very easy. Typing fractions, you need not go to in a design in equation editor and then go to insert. It is very easy. What you can do is just go to equation editor. Alt equal to I want to type one by two. I'll just type one by two and press space SP in a square bracket a represent space. If the space is very important, you're using autocorrect in equation editor. For this kind of equation, you just have to type one by two in the curly braces. Getting fraction in the denominator, you just have to use this kind of thing. This is very simple and intuitive. You can just have it try. The second thing equation is subscript and superscript. Okay, suppose this is my equation area of circle is equal to pi r square. Subscript and superscript just have to use uh, use underscore and a caret sign. Anything following underscore will be taken as a subscript, but this is all this will only work in equation editor. A underscore circle for typing a underscore circle. What I'll do is I'll just type a in equation editor. It is already I am already in equation editor underscore circle right and press space. Similarly for superscript, I'll, what I'll write is r caret sign and do and then as the moment I press space. It will give instruction to math auto correct and it will try to interpret what you have written and what I just go on to equal to this gives r raised to 2 and after pressing space math auto correct it what you will interpret whatever you have written and correct it accordingly okay so this is how I type it, uh, equations uh, subscript and superscript in uh, using math auto correct I have written a in this whole circle now suppose if you are this uh, pressing space the moment you press space it gives instruction to my auto and correct it automatically suppose what if I want to include spaces in subscripts let us try if I try a normal way a underscore circle sorry area of circle the moment I press space it corrects it automatically so this area will come in, in underscore and off circle I suppose if I wanted in it in subscript but in space the moment i press space bar it auto correct understands it that i have finished writing equation and it corrects it so off circle doesn't come in subscript so there is a trick to put spaces in subscript and superscript or that is just you have to include all these spaces inside a bracket suppose i will type this and this is a underscore anything in this bracket will come as a subscript okay so i can include spaces or any other equations or so area of circle really i complete this bracket and press space now this is how it will it has come okay so this method if you want to include spaces in subscript or superscript please include inside a press in bracket now then second thing is for superscript i already do all different to a raised to 2 and press space it gives now similarly if you want to include space, spaces in superscript also you include them in brackets now if you want to type subscript and superscript simultaneously what you can do is all equal to you can use underscore and caret sign together suppose i want to type r raised to 2 and then o u t r outer and press space goes like this or you can type it is not necessary that you should type caret sign first and underscore sign later you can do it other ways also r underscore outer raised to 2 pressing space will give the same result okay this was about subscript and superscript greek equal typing greek symbol also we need to go to equation we need to find go to insert tab and then in symbol i have to search whatever greek symbol or whatever symbol that i have to use most often in you if you are from scientific world mathematics may, many times you are using greek symbols right so there is a method for typing greek symbols this is a shortcut suppose if i want to type it is very simple just a slash and then a name of the greek symbol suppose if you want to have a greek symbol in lowercase all the characters will be in lowercase okay, suppose if you want to have a greek symbol in uppercase all the letters except the first letter of the greek name in small alt equal to backslash beta b e t a and press space this is how you can get greek symbol okay back symbol uh, this is a, a list of symbols you can download this uh, this document from the link given below so this are the complete list of greek symbols a shortcut of greek symbols and for for uh, uppercase greek symbol i can just use o m e g a just remember that the first letter of the greek symbol should be in uppercase 
the test space now this will not come because i'm not inside equation editor i just have to go inside the equation editor then o n e g a and press space so just remember this this is very simple now third thing is having an accent over a symbol okay and this is a vector this is an equation of which says vector v is equal to vx i cap plus vy j cap okay so how to get this arrow bar above vector or this cap bar above a letter right so what we have to do is just type this uh, just type vector v and then to have a vector arrow sign above you can just type vec and max plus vec and then press space here two spaces are necessary as it is already mentioned first space will convert vc into arrow and second space will take it this arrow above vector v okay so just remember this you can go and uh, go in insert tab and you do all kind of thing but for typing this thing if you want to type this type of symbols quite often then it is better to understand and to remember what is the shortcut for that and for having this kind of symbol hat again i will just will type i x uh, i slash uh, hat here yeah. press space twice this is a list of all the shortcuts for different kinds of accents and you, again you can download this list of this shortcut from the link given below third thing that we will see is if you want to type uh, mathematical symbols like integration sign or square root sign or there are various other mathematical symbols these are the shortcuts for this for integration without limit with limit upper limit lower limit single integral double integral or cyclic integral and there are a lot of things okay this is how to type symbols so you can download this thing from the link in below i'll just show you how to do this for integration sign it is very simple i'll just enter the equation editor type i and t this will give integration symbol suppose if i want to type integration with lower limit and upper limit so lower limit is like under subscript and upper limit is like superscript so i and t underscore x equal to 0 to x okay this is how i, I give limits on integral so i can i can use double integral i i and t this is double integral and again i can use the subscript and superscript to give limits for double integral triple integral volume integral you can do, do all this kind of thing okay so that was about integral because if you want to type a square root cube root or other things what you can do is you can just type backslash sqrt of 4 okay this is how i get, I get square root of 4 for cube root i will just type okay i just go inside the question writer cbrt of 4 and then press space this is how i get cube root of 4 now suppose if i want to type nth root of something so what what i'll do i'll go and type s q r t and inside that uh, suppose i want to type 10th root of 10 10 percent uh, x raised to 2 plus y raised to 2 i close this bracket and press space okay now this is how i type square root integration sign and there are other all there are various kind of mathematical symbols so writing summation you just have to the best session and sum okay so this is a list of shortcuts Step, uh, now going to the bracket sign Bracket sign is very easy, you just you have to type whatever bracket you want and just do it again, alt equal to, I just want to have curly braces, 1 plus x by y and then whole raise to 1 by 4, 1 by 4, okay, okay, I just of division, I have to tell x by y, okay. So this is how I type. This is a very common bracket, but there are some kind of bracket which is not available in the keyboard. Now for other kind of bracket like norms, these are these are there for this uh, this kind of norms for this kind of bracket, B R A K E T lower left floor right floor left ceiling right ceiling. So you can see this in the on the floor left side where in the floors there is a wall like this. It is vertical, but on the left floor it is in, it is indented in the left hand side and from the right, right floor left seal right seal for this kind of brackets okay there are places where we don't require an opening bracket or closing bracket you have invisible braces opening or closing just have to type slash open or press close suppose if i want to type this kind of thing actually you can say that this is like this kind of bracket with 
the opening bracket being invisible so for that i what i'll do is i want to have a invisible opening bracket so i will type open and space this shows that opening bracket is invisible then d raised to 3 3 f divided by d t raised to 3 space space now i want to type this kind of bracket space now this is how it has come if i just type this vertical line and press space actually it would have not taken it for the whole numerator and denominator i'll just show you uh, suppose if i don't use open thing just type a simple equation 1 by 2 and then this thing okay 1 by 2 if i press space if i do this so this bracket is not numerator and divided it, it, it appears as a separate bracket separate vertical line to make it for the whole numerator and denominator i just have to type open and then type 1 by 2 and then this vertical line and then press space it shows that it there was something um, in this bracket at the opening so you have to close it accordingly typing this open keyword is very important now you can get, get t equal to 0 as some underscore t equal to 0 and then okay like this so this is very simple so if you want to type all these kind of brackets and a special case where you want to have one side of the bracket is invis invisible for keeping opening side of the bracket invisible you just type backslash open and for, for invisible closing bracket type backslash close okay this was a bracket now if suppose if you want to have include some horizontal braces over a word just like this if you want to have something like this over bar then like this then type backslash over bar and express by whatever you want to include it over bar. I'll just type it for you backslash over bar and x plus y. Open this bracket and press space. Here you, here you have to press space. Right, so these are all, all the type of bracket that you have. Writing over with text and now. If you're into chemistry, then you require a lot of arrows and other things. Okay, subscript is that has been covered, but for getting arrows, there are special shortcuts. So for getting left arrow actually the shortcut is backslash left arrow for right arrow the shortcut is backslash right arrow i'll just type it for you uh, once i'll just type it type it once for you okay and i have to go inside the equation editor backslash left arrow and press space so this is how, how i get left arrow right arrow actually there is the most shortcut inside equation editor you just type a minus sign and then this arrow okay so i'll just show you now backslash right arrow is a shortcut but you can just type this minus sign and this so this is for right arrows equilibrium sign lrhr for typing this kind of arrow type 21 c4 and then press alt x this is not available as a match shortcut so you have to use unicode and for this you don't have to go inside equation later 21 c4 as just for typing this well press alt x and it will convert into this kind of arrow this kind of shortcut is for unicode this type unicode this is a unicode of that and for converting unicode number into actual symbol just have to press all the next together for precipitation down arrow for gas liberation up arrow for writing above arrow actually you have to type say whatever you type you want to type above any character or below any character use this kind of shortcut x slash above and include whatever you want to type above some symbol include it inside this bracket okay i'll just give you a short demo for that or equal to suppose i want to have a right arrow and i have to type above this arrow above and whatever I will type about this arrow will be about this arrow. You can press space bar. This. Okay, similarly for typing below the arrow, you can type. You can use this keyword backslash below and type anything that you want to insert it below the arrow. And if you want to type above and below the arrow, you can use the combination of above keyword. This is above. Above what I want to type n i like t and then press space then below and then t equal to thousand degree c okay this will come as below okay so this is how you can type now you can see that the text below is quite bigger than the text above so actually this arrow has to be a big one so what you can do is you can just type the first thing which is which is, which is bigger i'll just show it Want to equal to this arrow now i know that the thing that i'm going to type below is will take more space 
lengthwise and then the thing that i'm talking about so first include the thing which takes more space below t equal to thousand k and just put k and then above and now this is how you can just manipulate some something to get the desired output so here i included the, the bigger thing first and the smaller thing afterwards now there are a lot of things when you are typing chemicals okay and some of the chemicals are keeps on repeating in your document like suppose i have to type a chemical formula of nitric acid hno3 so what i'll do is there is a shortcut way i can just insert an auto correct option or something that i use is quite often right so let us say i am typing this hno3 quite often so i'll just copy this and type it once okay all equal to H N O and underscore three. I copy it. I copy it again. I go to options, proofing, autocorrect. Now it has. I want to add this as formatted text. I can make a shortcut. H N O three. I can put only that. I give H N O three. H N O three. Okay, this is already there. I just this was not available in Microsoft Word. I'll just replace it. Yes. Okay. And whenever I type this shortcut H N O three and press space, it will just give that whatever I have set for that shortcut. You can set uh, multiple things, whatever you want, in that pre-formatted text using this math auto correct. So you can have uh, as equations or something else also. Now, again going to the the next topic that is matrices. Now, inserting matrices for for inserting this kind of matrix, you just have to include use the keyword matrices and use ampersand for, for column separation and at the rate for getting a new row. So I'll just type it for in front of you. Putting this will give you only matrices, but I want to include these matrices in this square bracket. So I'll just open the square bracket. I'll type matrix matrix and then five ampersand six at the rate of 7 and percent 8 and just close this bracket for matrices and close this thing for square bracket and press space okay so this is how you get matrices suppose if you want you want to type a big equation inside matrices and then you can create an empty matrix and now i'll just put the equation editor backslash my matrix and remember that suppose i want to have four rows and three columns right so just type uh, at the rate for rows and ampersand for columns and remember that number of rows that you want uh, suppose if i want to have three rows so i just type ampersand two times number of rows required minus one similarly for columns also suppose i want to have five columns so i will type ampersand four times number of columns minus one okay at the rate at the rate at the rate three four by five okay for five i'll just type four times and close it and if I want to include this inside a square bracket, I just have to include all this formula inside a square bracket. And then after getting this empty, empty matrix, you can pick up each cell and type it inside. Okay. Now, to have to type this kind of things, this is a function which is has a value of 0 if t is less than 0 and 1 if t is less than otherwise. Okay. This is a step function. I can type this using a matrix. What I'll say is, see, this is a normal equation as t equal to i just i will just type h bracket t equal to like a normal thing and i can say that this this can be done as a matrix but what it has it has a matrix first uh, this is 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 2 these are the elements of matrix and this is having a uh, instead of square bracket it is having a curly bracket but it is having only a opening braces it doesn't have a closing braces so i will just use backslash close to show that uh, the closing bracket is exists but it is invisible okay i'll just type this called equal to f of t equal to now i want a matrix with a opening curly braces this is an opening curly braces my matrix rx first element is zero second element of that row a separation of column i will just use m percent if t less than equal to zero and now I want to go to a new new row and press and type ampersand. So I'll type at the rate sign one and then for going to under column and type 
10 percent will be otherwise I close this thing and now I know that the bracket if I press space it will get converted in the matrix now I, I know that there is a empty bracket so I'll type close and because of typing close this you can just see this without close this curly braces is like a standalone bracket it is not for the complete matrix so without typing this close and just cut it press space it will keep it will be like this only it is only on one line it is not within the whole matrix so for telling that i have a closing bracket but which is invisible next slash close and press space this bracket will be applicable for the complete matrix this was a an example where i use matrix and to type equations like this now if i want to uh, include like something like this for getting for typing anything below a symbol you can use below but this uh, below will work only on, on on this line suppose if i want to type two lines below something okay below something then i'll again use matrix what i'll do is all equal to for the getting summation sign s u m below the summation line i can treat this thing as a matrix okay so what matrix without any brackets so what i'll do is sum and just below as a subscript i want to type this matrix i'll type m a t r i x and then i equal to 1 dot 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 to 10 for second row i'll just type at the rate g greater than 1 and i'll close this bracket and then go like this a underscore i g so this is how i type these matrices with other symbols or shortcuts so for typing this kind of thing you can use matrix okay next thing is the last thing which is like other symbols there are a lot of other symbols that you use in mathematics like set you know for, for sets like is a subset or something like that not an element empty set subset superset something like that okay so you can use this shortcut for arrows and this uh, for greater than sign less than sign or there are many other shortcuts most of the times we use this cross symbol for multiplication so the thing that i use most on this symbol is for for that you just have to type backslash times in this thing i'll just press alt and times and then this comes this cross symbol comes so you can just have a look at it okay now one more thing that i want to tell you is see most of the things will work only when you are inside equation editor but you can use this symbol outside equation editor for that you just have to go to options go to proofing go to math auto correct and in math auto correct replace text size so type this will be checked okay now suppose if you want to use this math this shortcut math auto correct shortcut outside equation editor so you just have to check this box and press ok use math auto correct outside math region right so if i just do like like this and without equation editor also i can use this i don't need to go to equation editor for tapping alpha al al pha press space i get alpha okay so this is a shortcut yes, uh, this is a trick that you can use this is not um, not automatically available by default but you have to go and check it and change it okay so this was everything that you need to know about adding equation math math auto correct if you want to know the shortcut for anything else that i have missed please comment it on the section below i'll try to include in my next video and if you if you like my video and if you want to see more such video please uh, subscribe to my channel and press the notification icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos thank you for watching thank you very much for watching this video Bye bye